Badoosh. Hey guys, my name is Sigman, and welcome back to The Madness. What's that? Everybody's favorite part of the week. Video logs. As of right now, the moment that I am recording this, the channel is sitting at 247 subscribers with a loud bird on the side. Lily, are you done? It's interesting that the channel's now at 247 subscribers because yesterday at the start of the day it was 246 and when I didn't upload it jumped to 247. I wasn't sure if I, I'm not complaining, you know, it's always good to see new faces and you know, welcome to the madness and all that. But then it kind of had me wondering, it's like somebody saying, I'll hit the subscribe button if you shut the hell up. I hope that's not the case. But I'm sure you're wondering why reading your comments is running a day late. Well, there's a very good reason for that. Started out, I had just gotten home from work. I'm sitting down, relaxing, minding my own business, watching TV, hanging out with my dog. My wife's at work. All of a sudden, I get a text message that says, The landlord's stopping by today. Which I start panicking because we haven't had a whole lot of time to clean. We really, really don't with both of us working kind of opposite shifts. I sleep during the day and all that stuff. It's really, really hard to find time to clean. And then I went through and I cl quickly cleaned the kitchen and then I, she's like, Oh, well, uh, you might want to mow the lawn. Well, there's a problem. It's been raining for a week straight. And because it's been raining for a week straight, I couldn't mow the lawn because the grass is too wet and I don't have a fancy mower. It's just a little push mower, which by the way, the self push part on it doesn't work. Just simply as that does not work. So I have to manually push it, you know, not like ah, push it. It's not pushing it real good. It was just pushing it in a pain in the ass. But anyways, I was like, well, we could just tell them that we couldn't mow specifically because it's been raining nonstop. I can't really run a mower over wet grass because the mower gets messed up. Well, she sends me another message. Oh, he plans on putting fertilizer down. Well, that changed the thing just completely. It just changed it entirely. Changed the whole scenario because you don't want to put that stuff down. I'm not going to go into the science of it. I learned the hard way a long time ago why that's a terrible idea. So I had gone through with my mower. I go to start my mower. It wouldn't start. What's that? It's like my mower just went, fuck you, I'm not working today. Well, then I look at it and found out, oh, it needs oil, because it leaks. So I put oil in it and all that stuff. It starts right up like a champ. And of course, every, you know, six or seven feet, it stops because the grass is wet. So I'm fighting with that. After an hour and a half, I am almost done with the lawn. Finally, completely almost done. The lawn looks great and all that. It shuts off. Oh, heh, I'm out of gas. One thing after another, after another, after another just kept happening. By the time I got done with that, I finally got inside, told my wife it was done. I was like, I should really go record. And then my body's just like, no, nope, you really shouldn't. You re really, really shouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I went upstairs, goofed around a little bit. I was getting ready to record and my body's just like, nope, nope, your ass must go to bed. So I did, ended up waking up, of course, an hour before I had to leave for work. So I certainly couldn't get into recording in then. And I'm running kind of late right now. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, what's that? Comments. My birds do the same thing. Always interrupting when I talk about something important. I hate when they do that. Right? It's just nonstop. I love them to death. I'm trying to come up with a situation where I can have them downstairs where they're around people all the time. And they'll be down there while I'm up here working in serene, quiet environment until I start screaming and stuff in video games. But these two, when I try to talk at least during the day, they're like, nah, nah, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, see, right there. That's what I put up with. I don't know if you'll hear it over the music, but it is really, really loud in here and it's not just me. Thanks for doing another round. Zero zeros is a noble goal. Well, thank you so much. That was the developer for determine. <laughs> Sorry about that. My brain decided to go bleh again. Anyone surprised? Probably not. It was a noble goal. It is a fun game. And that was the developer for deterministic dungeon. If you were wondering, it is a fun game. I thought I was going to be cute and be like zero zeros. <laughs> Thinking I was cool and stuff. And what happened? I got a lot of zeros and it went bad. I mean, it was a good video. It was fun, but it just went bad. My goal, my goal is just, just pooped on. It was all pooped on. I've seen this one before, but this really looks like a neat game and very interesting concept as a whole. Gotta love it when they try and find ways for you to interact with the games beyond just controlling the characters. He's talking about window frame. Yes, that game is interesting and it was a lot of fun. It's it's different. It was really, really difficult to record because the box, if you notice, I kept moving my face cam around all over the place because it was all over my screen. I actually had to make a black backdrop just so you guys wouldn't be staring at my desktop the entire time. It, it was a fun game to play, but a pain in the ass to edit. You know what I mean? I gave up playing this game because the ambulance had to bring me to the hospital to give me artificial nerves because they exploded while playing this game. Well, I don't think medical science is quite advanced that far. I understand what you're talking about. He's referring to Geometry Dash. If you notice, I don't play that game a lot. I only really do it when I'm doing challenge games. That's because I'd probably lose my mind. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it was the last, not 
the last Geometry Dash that I played, but the one before that, where I came up with the idea for the King of Rage, where it's a golden crown, jewel encrusted, all that with a giant butt on the front. I should probably draw that at some time to illustrate it, just so you can see Marvel at its beauty and my insanity slash stupidity. Cute game, only thing missing is a few magic mushrooms and the music, lol. Referring again to Deterministic Dungeon, it is a cute game and this is a really fun game. I like it because it's like just randomized. I mean, it looks basic, it's a 2D game, but it is still a lot of fun. At its core, it's a role-playing game, but on the same hand, it's like one of those, you don't really know precisely how you're, it, it's kind of, it's luck. A lot of it's luck and timing. I am bad with both, but it is an awesome game nonetheless. More, by the way, a new update with Foxy came out, referring to the joy of creation. Yes, I will be doing that one again here real soon. I'm just waiting for my schedule to lighten up just a little bit. I'm having issues finding time to record in between working, sleeping, family time, animal time, all that stuff. You know, it's just one big cycle of me not being able to do what I want. But again, that's life. I'm hoping to get by that here real soon. And yeah, yeah, if the channel keeps growing at the pace it is, I'm hoping one day, you know, to hit that dream. If the channel keeps growing and it gets big enough, they, uh, my dream is to do this full time. I know I've probably talked about it before. I'm always excited for the future of this channel. I really, really am. And I love seeing new faces and I love seeing people enjoy the content because that means I'm doing something right. That means, you know, that, that it's just fun. It's all about having fun. That means you all are having fun too. And I wouldn't trade that for anything. It means an awful lot to me. And, you know, long term, I would love to do this full time. That's my dream. But with, as of right now, I can't do it full time. You know, I, ha I have to work full time and then do other things full time and then fit YouTube somewhere in there. But I'm hoping one day that this channel will grow, you all will grow with it, the community will grow, and it'll just be a lot of fun. And I'm really, really excited for the prospects of the future. But anyways, I'm all out of time, so what time is it? You know what time it is, outro time. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button, like button, deuce. Share the video with a friend that would be great. And hey, if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button to join the Sick Man Army today. <clears throat> I did that in one breath and I breathed in too hard. <laughs> This is a whole lot of fun. I'm sorry occasionally videos get delayed, but again, life tends to happen. I'm hoping to avoid that in the future. Like always, I'm always hoping to avoid bad stuff because not a whole you don't really want a whole lot of bad stuff happening. But anyways, I won't go into that. Well, thank you all again so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Thank you for 247 subscribers. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.